Hello, Cap, Cap, Capricorn. What's going on? Okay, we're going to see what's going on in your energy today. So let's get the shuffling. I hope you all are having a blessed day. So Spirit, please give me a message for the Capricorn Collective. What would you like them to know today? Let's make sure we cleanse this energy. Cleanse the old energy out. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, cat. The way that just happened, I almost feel like somebody in life is saying right now, like, what is going on? You looking around at the world, like, what is going on is what I'm feeling, Capricorn. That's what you want to say. Let's see what angel messages of spirit have for you today. All right, Capricorn spirit. We have gratitude list. Some of you are ne need to take a break, sit down, and write out your gratitude list. What are you grateful for? And then others of you are needing to clear out some debts. So it's a counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on your worries. Didn't we just say? Somebody's out there saying, like, what is going on? What's going on? Somebody out here, Capricorn, is worried about the worries, like fixated on the worries in your mind they telling you don't worry about what's going on don't worry about the worries just focus on the gratitude like yeah the car broke down but it's like oh i'm happy i had the money to fix the car dang i gotta go fill up this car and get some more gas i'm grateful i have the money to pick gas in my car and i'm happy i'm not walking like they're telling you focus on the gratitude right now cat it says what and who you are grateful for right now keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover amazing generosity of this universe and they're telling you, you'll, you'll see how generous this world has been with you if you focus on the gratitude. So write your gratitude list at nighttime. Just sit in bed. Just write down five of them. you like, five too much tomorrow. Write down two. Just do two. Can we do one? Can we shoot up one right now? Pause right now for five minutes. Two minutes. One second. Pause for one second and say, thank Spirit, I'm thankful that I'm breathing and I have good health. Now, what's that hard? Okay. Next, they're telling you. Okay, that wasn't it. Okay. <laughs> We have clearing debts. Look at the bottom of the deck. We have clearing debts. And it says, your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones. So if you got a little bit of debt, the angels are wanting you to know, know that it's time for you to clear that out. Because what we don't want is for the interest rates to go up. And then we have to pay extra money towards these debts versus having fun and doing other things that we need to do with it. You know, you don't want to give it all back. You don't want to earn it and then got to give it all back. You want to keep some of it. So what they are telling you is to clear the debts out. So that way we won't get stuck in some type of cycle. And then it'll make you feel a lot freer, especially or even emotional debts. Some of you, even if it's not financial debts, you have emotional debts. These emotional debts are holding on to burdens that are it's no longer happening right now. But you holding on to that feeling of, dang, I broke up with him. I broke his feeling. Or, dang, I shouldn't have did this when I was in the past. I done broke up with her. Or whatever these debts are. Or some debts, some emotional debts of things that happened in the past. Or old situations. Or things that you just cannot control. You holding on to things that you just can't control. Or you're no longer in that situation. And it is tearing you down. And, tearing you down inside and eating you up. So they're telling you, release this heavy burden from your life. And you would feel lighter and freer. Some of you are having heavy hearts, heavy shoulders. Somebody could have been having chest pain because I'm starting to feel some chest pain. So somebody could have been battling with some anxiety issues or chest pain or feeling like your back been hurting because you you holding on to this debt. Let it go. Clear the debts out. All right, let's see what else is going on, Spirit. What is going on for my Capricorn? What's the current situation for Capricorn, Spirit? We have intuition coming out in the reverse. Empowerment coming out in the reverse. Manifestation. Guidance. What else? Crown chakra. Family. Parents. I'm going to take it. Okay. Gratitude in the reverse. Why do they keep telling you about being grateful? Why are they telling you about being grateful? 
it's either you or somebody in your energy. If it's not you, you're like, I'm grateful every day, every day, all day. Then it's not you. It's somebody in your energy, Capricorn. So what's coming out is... I'm feeling like somebody needs to go and get some guidance or direction or need to speak to a counselor because there's some support or something that needs to be released. And I feel like what needs to be released is the debt or burden that's coming from your family. I feel like maybe you and your family are not seeing eye to eye and it's something that you need to go clear out where they said clear out these emotional debts. There seems to be a lot of baggage here stemming from family issues or problems that have not been dealt with. I feel like in your family, you felt like you felt weak, um, disempowered. They had too much authority over you. They had too much control over you. Um, you lost your confidence. It was even, I feel like you could have had a mother figure because it's feminine energy that's coming out. Mother figure, grandma or something where they were just in this energy of it's my way or the highway. This my household type of energy is what I'm feeling. And that's why I feel like spirit is telling you like, don't focus on the emotional side of what happened. Maybe just go get some help. Focus more on the side of being grateful that, hey, I'm alive right now. I made it through right now. So that way it will help you deal with this, the issues or problems that's coming or stemming from this. I feel like you could be battling right now. Either you could be a parent and you're going through something with your children. Or you could be a or you could be a Capricorn, a person that's dealing with something with your current parent right now. It seems like it's too much baggage or debt here. So you and your parent are having some type of issue. Some of you could be expecting a baby. So somebody could be pregnant, whether you know or not, there could be a baby coming in. For others of you, um you're struggling with parenthood, possibly. Or just having an issue with your parents. That's what I'm getting. Issue with your parents. I feel like at this present moment, you have the your crown chakra coming out balanced. So I feel like you're at a place in you're at a place in life where you found your inner peace. You found yourself. You found a sense of like connection. This could be with your spirituality in general and your family. They could not be connected with their spiritual with their spirituality because we have intuitive coming out in the reverse like i feel like y'all are just two different people you found peace in your spirituality you found peace in healing you found peace in meditating receiving downloads communicating you could be talking to a, watching this video right now um getting some type of intuitive insight and your family i feel like y'all just on two different paths or two different wavelengths because i have you and family coming out in opposite you're trying to heal family trauma and I feel like your family is just like, what's a medium? What the hell is that? What you mean intention and getting in alignment? Like you are manifesting everything you want for yourself. You're doing better for yourself. You focus on your success, your money. You are just like, you could be studying right now, keeping your head low, trying to get things organized. You're focusing, you, like you have a vision for yourself and you see things for the way that it is. You're realizing like, this is my reality and this is how I'm going to fix it. This is how I'm going to get in alignment. This is what I want for myself. You realize that maybe when you were younger, you felt disempowered. You couldn't truly be yourself. You had to play it small. You had to hide. You had to be under somebody's thumb or somebody constantly controlling you, telling you which way to go, which way you're going to sleep this time, you're going to eat this, all types of things. And now you're like, no, I'm going to focus on my passion. I'm going to focus on my purpose. This is what I want for myself. And so spirit is telling you, Capricorn, release all the emotional baggage or the emotional debt that came from the past because it's no longer serving you right now you can't change your family you can't control them you can't get them to be, appreciate you or be grateful for you or what you bring to the table or maybe they just truly not understanding you your family's coming off as ungrateful they're coming off as a person that don't recognize you for who you are they don't acknowledge what you bring to the family unit um you feel like you haven't really been appreciated for who you are the number 77 could be important here somebody could be born in 1977 or 77 could be important somebody's name could be with an a first middle last name with an a or maybe you're from a, a state alaska arkansas australia or something with an a is significant here or your name um somebody's birthday could be in the month of november or maybe somebody's birthday is on the 11th 
11 is a power number. I mean, you are meant to be somebody. You have a power number that's coming out for you. I feel like you're in this place where you're telling your family no. You're speaking up. You you know, you're you're not afraid of voicing your opinion, especially when it comes to your parents. You're telling your parents no. Come pick me up. No. I have something to do or this is what I want to do because when you were younger, you felt disempowered. You felt like you didn't really have a voice. We have this coming out. You couldn't be yourself. You want to wear your hair this way. They tell you wear another way. You want to wear this necklace. They tell you, oh, that look too gothic. That look too this. Or this is what we do. This is how I like it in my household. They didn't let you be yourself. If you want to wear nail polish, they're saying no. Mm, you're not wearing no red nail polish. Red nail polish just for hookers. Like they told you something. And now you're in this energy like, I'm going to be me. This is how I'm showing up. I want to wear this and that. I want to have jewelry on. I want to, maybe you could be a person that wear a lot of bracelets, necklaces, or jewelry. But you're showing up as your authentic self. And you're learning to love yourself and appreciate yourself for who you are. And you're like, this is me. This is me. I love me. And that's what matters. I love me. And so that's why they want you to release the emotional baggage. Oh, what happened in the past with your parents? Somebody name could be with a V. First, middle, or last name. Somebody could be from Vermont or something with a V. Virginia, something with a V. A significant here, first, middle, last name, or location. As well as the letter K. First, middle, last name. Or this could be your name with a K. So, number 666. You could be seeing this angel number coming out. 666. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So... And that reading, Capricorn, they are telling you, release this emotional baggage, clear the debts out. This could be actually money debts, financial debts from your parents or something. Maybe they got the cable bill in your name or something. Or this could be emotional debts. They tell you to clear it out. So, Spirit, at this moment, what can Capricorn do to heal? What is something that Capricorn can do to heal? Besides clearing out these emotional debts, take a break from negative news and social media. Detox from negativity. They keep telling you, don't focus on this negative stuff. Detox from negativity. If somebody bring you drama, news, you watching and scrolling on social media, you just see so-and-so got this and that happened and this and who and somebody ate somebody pie. Stop focusing on the negative. They said detox from negativity. That's from people who are negative, um, consuming media that's negative listening to stuff that's negative people who's bringing stuff to you hell eating stuff that brings down your vibration if it's giving you the items it's kind of something that you probably shouldn't have that much or you ate too much of it like don't they tell you don't do that you know i'm guilty of that that itis coming from eating that turkey and all that other stuff i'm like i know damn well i shouldn't have had this i should have had a salad because it's not good it is not good to be eating all this right now eating some hot cheetos it's not good so they tell you detox from that negative and you need to connect with your inner child by engaging in playful activities and creative expression. Do stuff that's going to make you express yourself in a creative way. Painting, drawing, listening to music, going to go dance, picking up a dance class, going to go work out, doing some Zumba, doing something that's going to help you to be creative, to connect to your inner child so you can heal that inner child. That child that's within is still in, in there. They are in there and they're waiting for you to heal them and communicate with them and saying, hey, I'm sorry. I forgive you for what happened. I love you. I'm Like, I, like communicate with that inner child. Connect with your inner child by engaging in playful activities. Go have fun. Be a child again. You know, life became so serious. Look at the McDonald's. Look at McDonald's. McCafe. Back in the day, it used to be the golden arches. It was red. It was colorful. It had the little the clown face and all that. Now it's just a box. A gray box. Cafe. Everything. All the restaurants. Everything's turned into a gray box. Be playful. Be colorful. Be bold. Be you. And that's what you need to focus on. So take a break from negativity and go be playful and creative. That's what they're telling you what you can do to heal. And lastly, they're telling you connect with your spiritual side. And the way you connect with your spiritual side is through prayer, meditation, doing deep dives into your belief system. Whatever you believe in, go all the way in. Go research it. Like If you seek, you shall find. Whatever you seek, you will find. So if you are Muslim, Christian, Catholic, Protestant, whatever you are, whatever you believe in, go do a deep dive into that and connect with your higher self. You know, your ori, your head, your over soul. You know, there's the mind, the body, and the soul. Three different things, the mind, the body, and the soul. You want to take care of this body, this temple that we're in while we're in this world, in this plane. You want to take care of this mind 
because we want to have sound mind and you want to take care of the soul the soul is what came their hand this body to help us while we're in this while we're here during this short period of time take care of all three of them they're going to take care of you take care of them because remember we came here so we can elevate and grow as a as a human being as a race as a soul you want to raise the you want you know you want to raise your consciousness you want to raise your vibration so that's what we came here to do. We came to focus on that and heal it. We came to learn these little lessons so we can get the experience that we need to grow. So this is all I have for you, Capricorn. If anything resonated, please leave me a message down below. Love y'all. See y'all later.